The world of trading success is not just determined by financial analysis or technical skills. It goes beyond numbers and charts. It requires a deep understanding of one's own psychology. Emotions play a significant role in trading. Fear, greed, and impatience can cloud our judgment and lead to poor decision making. Mr. Jim Dalton uses the word chunking, where in psychology, we group together multiple connected information and process as a single concept. When we drive a car, we chunk multiple actions like grabbing our keys, walking out the garage, start the engine, put on seatbelts, press reverse, and multiple actions into a single concept of driving. These actions are embedded in our muscles and brains that we focus on driving and driving only. What if you are worried about getting into an accident while driving? When you have this fear, you build anxiety and will not drive properly and will cloud your judgment. So how do we prevent such fear and anxiety in intraday trading using market profile and the delta to prevent FOMO on days like today? 1. Risk management is a fundamental principle in trading psychology. When you're building fear of losing, you have too big of a position. Size down to what you can risk of losing. Risk management is key to success. Always have a stop loss. Are you afraid of the market stopping you out before going higher? If that is your biggest fear, move your stop loss few ticks below your initial stop loss. 2. Don't trade when profile shows mixed delta. Mixed delta indicates that the market is waiting for more MGI before finding a direction. When this happens, stay aside and wait for a breakout. Longer the consolidation, bigger the breakout. 3. When you see end of auction with equal weight of volume on top and bottom, of a period, this indicates that period will be a balancing period. You do not want to trade in this period. Preserve your emotional capital. 4. If you see the market trending, wait until a pullback with some volume tapering. Best location will be at the single or double digit volume indicating end of auction. When market is uptrending, support will matter the most and when market is downtrending, resistance will matter the most. These will be your entry. 5. High volume notes and POCs are where all the bulls and bears are negotiating for price. You don't want to get stuck in their crossfire. Stay out of these levels if placing new trades. These will most likely be your exit location. 6. Split your indices into sections by drawing out strong key zones. Plan your trade from one key zone to another. Developing a trading plan is another essential aspect of trading psychology. A well-defined plan helps traders stay focused and disciplined, even in the face of market volatility. After a successful win, taking a break will help clear up any biases you had. Mindfulness and meditation techniques can also help develop self-awareness and emotional control. Keep a journal. Writing out a plan and journaling is a powerful practice all traders should follow. By documenting your trades and analyzing your decision-making process, you can identify patterns and make adjustments to your strategy. And lastly, don't forget to celebrate success no matter how big or small. Discipline is the backbone of trading psychology. It is the ability to stick to your trading plan even when faced with tempting opportunity or market fluctuations. Discipline separates successful traders from the rest. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next. Hey guys, this is Jenny from Shadow Trader Squawk Box. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this content, make sure to press the like and the subscribe button below. And if you like to trade live with me every day, click on the link below in the description box. I wish you good trading and we'll see you in the room soon.